Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1257. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1257, start and follow along. Click on the link below the video. Oh, man, look at this. We have a column with species and then the dates across the column headers and the number of that particular species that were counted on that particular date. This already looks like a cross-tabulated table, right? Here's uh, the next one for February. Here's the next one for March. Now, if we want to do any data analysis, this is the wrong format. We really need a proper data set with only three columns. We need species, date, for all of these dates and the count or the value, three columns. So how in the world do we take all of these already cross-tabulated tables and convert them into one big data set with three columns? Because then we can make things like pivot tables and charts. Well, we're going to let Power Query come to the rescue. Now, 2010 and 13, you have to go Search Google. Just say download Power Query. In 2016, you simply go to data and over in the get and transform group. Now, in order for us to get each one of these individual tables into Power Query, we actually have to convert to a table. So Excel data has got to be in a table format in order to get it into Power Query and transform it. So I'm going to have to go through each one of these tables. Not only that, but if we're going to have a lot of tables over in Power Query, and we're going to have to unpivot and then append, we better name each table smartly, because we're going to have to deal with a lot of different tables. All right, I'm going to click in a single cell in the table, Insert Table. But I'm sorry, I do not want to use the ribbon each time if I'm going to have to repeat this operation. So I'm going to use the keyboard Control-T. It got the table correctly. I'm going to click OK. Now we're also going to every time go to Table Tools, Design, over to Properties, and name it. I'm going to use the keyboard Alt-J-T-A. Notice it jumps me up here. Now this is going to be called January 2015 and Enter. Now I'm going to scroll down here, Control-T, Enter, Alt-J-T-A, and I'm shooting up here. I'm going to call this February 2015 and Enter. Now I'm going to do this for each one of the tables. Now I'm down here in May. I'm going to do Control-T, Enter, Alt-J-T-A. It shoots me up here. And guess what? You are not allowed to put May 2015 as a name. So I'm actually going to put. May, May 2015. That will become important later because we're going to have to deal with our names over in Power Query and Enter. I'm going to continue on naming the table. Now we're down here in the September table, and there's going to be a problem. This is 1 dash September. And if you look up in the formula bar, you can see that it actually has the year 2015. So it's a correct date here in Excel. But when I Import this into Power Query. This is going to be a field name or column header, and it won't know what year it is. When we convert it to dates, it'll convert to the actual current year, and I'm in 2016. So I'm actually going to fix this over in Excel, Control Shift right arrow, and simply go up to Home, Number Group, and add a number format. Now, even though Power Query will convert this to a text date, the correct year will be there and will convert it back to a date, and it will all work. Control T, Enter, Alt J T A, and I'm going to call this September 2015, and Enter. All right, so I've done it for all the tables. October was our last table. Control Home. Now I need to import these into Power Query. So I click in a single cell up to Power Query. From table, I click. Here's our first table. And all we need to do is select all of the date columns. So I'm going to select the first one, use the scroll bar. And before I click on the last one, I'm holding the Shift key. I click on the last one. They're all highlighted. Now I can right click any one of them and say Unpivot Columns. And just like that, 
species date value. Double click and click, and I'm going to call this date and enter. Now we need to close and load to. We're going to make sure and say only a connection and load. There's our first loaded and converted to a proper table. Now we get our second table. Now, in this case, we're going to try and learn the keyboard. And if you have to do something repetitive like this, this is a horrible keyboard. Watch this. I hit the Alt key. And now I have to go Y1, so Y1, and then YA. Not only that, but on your computer, it'll probably be different depending on the number of ribbon tabs you have. So Y1, YA, oh my heavens. I'll tell you what, though. If you're repeating this many times, that will be faster. Now we're going to have to do the same thing here. I click on the first one, scroll over, hold Shift, click on the last one, right click, unpivot columns. Double click, and I'm going to call this Date and Enter. And we have to close and load to only a connection and load. There's our first two. I'm going to hit Pause and do the rest. All right, now I'm down here on my August table. And notice there's no records here. And let's see what happens when we put this into Power Query. Alt Y1, Y, A, all null. But check this out. It will actually remove that as a record. Right click on Pivot Columns. And you can see there are no 8 ones. So that is pretty convenient. Double click, call this date, and enter. And notice. These are text dates. When we get to our final table before we export it, we will convert them all to dates. Close and load to, and this is still only a connection. You can see I'm loading them up here. I'm going to hit Pause and Finish. All right, so I've loaded all of the tables and unpivoted them, changed the date column name. I can see my entire list over here. And you know, I can already see trouble right there. Look at that match. I meant to type March. I'm going to come over here to Excel, Formulas, Name Manager, or the keyboard Control F3. Now I can edit. I can come down here to Match 2015, Edit. I'm going to Backspace R, and then OK, or Enter, Close. I'm going to come over here, right click, Edit. And if I say Refresh Preview, it can't find Match. I'm actually going to go up to the Advanced Editor here. And sure enough, we can look through here, and it's looking for Match 2015. So I'm going to change this Backspace R. Done. And now I want to come over here and change the name to R, Enter. Now I can close and load. And there we have fixed it. Now what we need to do is take each one of these tables and put them right on top of each other. So I'm going to click on, so I'm going to come up to Power Query. I always thought it would be the word merge. That's a way of doing a type of lookup here in Power Query. We want append. That means, hey, there's the first table. I want to bring one, a new table to the bottom. So I'm going to click append. Click the drop down. We can say January 2015. Select the table to append to the primary table to February 2015 and click OK. It Put those two tables together with only one set of field names at the top. I'm going to come over here and name this Final One Table Data Set and Enter. Now, check this out. If you want to do it manually, you come over here and simply click Append and add your tables. March, click OK. Append Queries. Now I can say April, click OK. However, if you want, don't mind a little typing. You can come over to the Advanced Editor. And notice it says source equals table.combine and then January, February. A lot of times I'm such a bad typer. I just use that append query and stack them up, and it works fine. But let's go ahead. I'm going to close this, delete that one, delete that one. That's a pretty cool feature in Power Query. Now with just the source, I'm going to come over to Advanced Editor. 
Uh-oh, this is going to be nothing but trouble for me. I'm going to come here, and all I have to do is list my tables I want to combine with comma. So I'm going to type comma March 2015, April 2015. And there's the last one, October 2015. And I'm looking back here, including that May, May 2015. So there you go. When I click Done, boom. Now we have one last thing. We want to take this whole column, Date, Transform. We do not want it as text. We want it as date. And boom, there we go. We have our serial number date. Now we can close and load to. I want to dump this as a table on a new sheet, so I click Load. And you've got to be kidding me. Look at that. All of our records from those cross-tabulated tables are now control home in one data set, and we can make pivot tables or charts. Table and Enter. All right, so in this video, we saw how to go from multiple cross-tabulated tables, convert them to tables, name them smartly, import them, unpivot them in Power Query, and then append and create one big table. I love Power Query. We'll see you next video.